Parents with children in special education have been waiting months for a plan from CPS. The months of unanswered questions have made it hard for their children to prepare for the school year. ABC 17 Zola Crowder is live in Columbia tonight after hearing from local parents. Zola, there's been that special education reopening plan on the CPS website for months, but it does not mention going fully online. Yes, Lucas, that's right. Just in the last few hours, I spoke with several parents who says this have been, has been a rough few months trying to figure out a plan for their kids with special in special education without knowing what the district has been planning. The last six months have been extremely difficult. That CPS parent says the unknown is the hardest part. As a bunch of parents who were very frustrated about um, kind of the lack of knowledge, a lack of um, communication about what's going to happen. She says these parents just want some answers. You know, we've been trying to just let them figure it out and let us know, but when we continue to not get information and here we are, you know, eight days away from school supposed to be starting and um, we still don't know how how it's going to look for our kids. Another parent told me over email about how hard it has been over the past few months. She says they haven't been able to make plans and still have no idea what to expect. She also is confused about how her child will get the therapy needed. The unknown has been a huge burden for these families. The thought of trying to get him to participate going into a virtual learning time is kind of panic inducing because I don't feel like it's going to work for him and he's going to struggle. He's going to fall further behind. Now the CPS Board of Education has been discussing the plan for special education tonight. They just announced that they will be offering in person five day a week class for kids in special education, but they will also be adjusting online learning for them as well. Reporting live in Columbia, I'm Zola Crowder, ABC 17 News. All right, thank you, Zola. In an interview earlier this month, CPS said even if general student classrooms are on a hybrid schedule, students in special education could still come five days a week.